And there you get a look at the Marquis de Lafayette as uh, he is the namesake of Lafayette College in Easton, PA. This is the Coke Zero halftime report. Promise never to settle unless it's into a lawn chair with Coke Zero. Down on the field is John Leone. He is with Lafayette College's president, Daniel Weiss. Here's John. Thanks, Gary. Thanks, Michael. Hey, uh, throughout the year, we've had the pleasure of talking with a number of Lafayette students and faculty who really make this place work. But uh, uh, above them all is the fellow I'm here with today. He's Lafayette College's president and my friend, Dan Weiss. Dan, welcome to the Lafayette Sports Network. Thanks, John. Glad to be here. You know, we are uh, obviously the smallest school in the Patriot League. And Dan, the first thing I want to ask you uh, is about the two championships that our teams won this fall season. Uh, what, what does that say about the athletic program here at Lafayette? Well, we're very proud of that accomplishment. Our programs are very successful, but we do them in a way that's consistent with our academic values. And as a result, we, we are, we're really proud of what our students can accomplish. We love to see them win. But more important, we love to see them do, do well in the classroom and really be committed to the overall vision. And I think that's what we're doing, and that's what we're seeing. Well, we talked about our size relative to the Patriot League, but nationally, throughout the country, it is one of the smallest schools in Division I. Give us your, uh, you did just a little bit right there, but give us your thought, your perception of how the athletic experience melds, molds into the overall academic experience. Well, from the onset, we've been committed to athletics here because we believe the educational value of that experience for our students. There's so much that they learn in terms of not only balancing their schedule and learning how to, how to mix a, an athletic commitment with an academic one, but also just leadership skills and dedication and, and all of the things that go with athletic success. We have students for four years at Lafayette, and they graduate in four years. And in that time, they do lots of different things. And we think athletics, for those kids, for those students who are interested in it, really makes a difference in their overall experience. And we believe in that. And it, the Patriot League believes in that. And we have great success because of that commitment. No question, Dan. And you know, uh, uh, obviously, as a college president, and you and I have had a chance to travel together and talk a little bit, there is so much that falls on your plate, so much that a lot of people don't know about. It's like running a small city. Give us your perception of your last eight years here, what you've seen happen, kind of pre-Dan Weiss and post-Dan Weiss. Well, I've had great eight years at Lafayette. My family and I have loved being here. It's been a wonderful experience for us. And I th I'm really proud of what we've been able to accomplish. I was brought here to make a significant commitment to the academic core of the institution. That's what we've been working on most especially. And over the course of the last eight years, we've been implementing an ambitious strategic plan. We've kept our momentum, notwithstanding a very difficult economic environment. We've hired a significant number of new faculty. We've built new programs. We've created new academic facilities. I'm proud to say the institution is stronger academically today than it was when I arrived. And that's a community effort, and I'm glad to have been part of it. Dan, you know, one of the things you implemented when you got here, and it was not without its skeptics. There were people that were saying, how can we do this? You wanted to hire, you set a goal of hiring 35 new faculty people. Anybody associated with a quality academic institution knows that the engine that drives that place is its faculty. We're almost there. You've done a great job with that. Well, thank you. We have made great progress, and, and that's because everyone in our community agrees with that objective. Those new faculty have been hired with resources that have come from donors, from our alumni who are committed to the strategic plan. We had the additional good fortune of hiring in a difficult market. So we've gotten outstanding faculty who have been really committed to building the, the vision of the college. And we've created many new programs as a result. I'm really proud of all of that. It's been great. Yeah, Dan, and you know, as, as we go forward now, your work is never done. It's almost, I, I, I kind of uh, think of it as a relay race, and you're handing the baton off to your successor without a hiccup. You've started some programs. What are some of the key ones you'd like to see come to fruition, and maybe some of the ones that haven't started yet that you'd like to start before you leave? Well, I am passing the baton at a good time in the history of the college, and I think the next president will have an opportunity to create new ideas and new initiatives, but we're still in the process of completing this plan. We have a life sciences initiative and a new facility that we'd like to see come to fruition in the next couple of years. We will be building a new center for global education, and that's underway. We've raised the funds for that. The Oxley Center will be under construction next year. The arts campus down at the bottom of College Avenue at the bottom of the hill is under construction next year as well. We're very excited about that. 
So there's a lot underway, but there's much more work to be done. And I think the next chapter in the life of the college should build on these successes and take us in new directions. I look forward to following that as well. And I'm sure you will, Dan. And uh, we obviously, at the Lafayette Lehigh football game, we've got a number of sports fans following us. Dan, I remember when you first got here, a couple of key issues you tackled right away. Number one, the basketball issue. You've been a leader among presidents of the Patriot League and the athletic uh, issues that face us. And uh, the football stadium. I mean, it's been remarkable. As a matter of fact, you and I joke, we thought we were hiring an academic president. All of a sudden, all this stuff started to happen athletically. You've really done the job across the board. Well, thank you, John. I think the exciting role of this, of, of the job of being president is to take on the challenges and the opportunities we have. I'm very proud of the fact that we have invested significant resources in every athletic facility at Lafayette in the years I've been here. Every single one of them has been renovated and improved because we're committed to our vision of athletics and we need the facilities and the support to do that. So I think we're well positioned to move forward athletically. Maybe we'll win a game today. We look like we're playing really well. But we're proud of what our student athletes do, and I, I, I'm sure that we'll have good success in the years ahead. Has Frank asked you to send any plays in from the sideline? I'm smart enough not to do that, <laughs> and he's smart enough not to ask. Dan Weiss, Lafayette's uh, current college president. Dan, sometimes it takes history a little while to tell its story. I'm sure when we look back on the tenure of Dan Weiss at Lafayette College, history will be very kind. Thank you, John. Very much appreciated. Thank you. And uh, Gary, Michael, back to you guys. All right. And our uh, best wishes, too, to Daniel Weiss as he moves on to greater challenges. Right now, the challenge for the Lafayette football team is to hang on to this lead. 21-17. The Leopards have never trailed. Stay with us. Our highlights, our numbers, right around the corner.